Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Kurt with Rock Counting Adventures. You may recognize this clip from last week's video whenever we were testing to find out if your crystal or agate has been dyed or if it is uh, natural and whatnot. Um, if you are interested in that video, there will be a link in the description. Um, but uh, for this week, I had uh, quite a few of you guys comment down below let me, let me, letting me know that y'all want to know what the crystal still looks like now and uh, if I plan on doing anything with it. So uh, we are going to take this crystal and soak it in uh, al uh, rubbing alcohol for a few hours and then soaking it in acetone. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, jump over to it. So this is what the crystal looks like now after doing a couple of the tests that we did last week. Um, as you can tell, it's still pretty heavily dyed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab a uh, bowl uh, and fill it with 90% rubbing alcohol. Okay, so now let's uh, take the uh, dyed crystal and set it into the uh, r rubbing alcohol. You can kind of see little flakes of the dyed material flaking off. Um, we're going to get a Q-tip and then later a toothbrush and kind of scrub away, see what, what all we can get off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop and we're gonna let this sit in alcohol for two to three hours and we will be right back in just a second. So after soaking it for three hours, it's still looking um, like it still has a lot of dye in it and the cracks and crevices. So we're gonna move on to the next stage, um, but it is nice and shiny. So this is what it looks like. Uh, let's, we're going to go ahead and move on to stage two, which will be soaking this in acetone. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the bowl. And we're going to take the acetone, which is fingernail polish remover that you can get at any grocery store um, and so forth. Um, we're going to go ahead and fill the bowl and pretty much use the entire container. Oh wow, look at all those flakes that popped off. You can tell acetone is much stronger than the alcohol. After letting it soak for a couple minutes, let's take a Q-tip to it and work the edges. And now let's switch over to a toothbrush. After scrubbing it for a while, we're going to go ahead and let it soak for about four to five hours and then come back and uh, wash it off and see how it looks. 
See you guys in just a moment. After five hours, let's go ahead and take a look at it. it. Seems like a lot of dye has come off, as you can see it sitting in the bottom. But uh, let me go take this over to the sink and uh, wash this off with some soap and water, and I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like after soaking in acetone for 5 hours. It's very clean, but there's still a lot of dye left in all of those cracks and crevices around the crystal points. And I think what I'm going to need to get most of this dye out is uh, use some construction grade acetone. It's a lot stronger um, than your, your typical nail polish remover. but. Uh, may have to try that in the future and if any of you know how to get this die completely out of the quartz please leave it down in the comments I will deeply appreciate it and maybe we, we can do that for a future video um, but uh, anyways I hope you enjoyed it if so please like the video subscribe to the channel and share this the first version of this video where I where I was testing how to get the die off with your friends and family on social media and um, I hope you guys have a fantastic week rock on find some cool rocks and if you are interested in listening to the rock hound podcast where me Theo Kellison Kyle with world of rock hounds and Karen with ozone fine art ventures um, talk about everything rock hounding related lapidary related and everything in the rock niche um, go check us out the link will be down in the description but again i will see you guys next time rock on talk to you later peace out